In this tutorial, we are going to learn decimal fractions and its properties. We already used decimal fractions, but here we will formally explain what is this and um, its properties. Uh, like us and subscribe and let's get started. If we have a um, fraction, common fraction with big denominator, then it's hard to perform calculations because big denominators um, means uh, it's quite hard to find common denominators. Uh, let's talk about how um, decimal fractions are written. For example, if we have six, six and floating point 203, uh, in decimal uh, numeral system, watch our previous tutorials, it's written as 6, which is whole part, plus um, 2, over one, 2, o 2 over 10, plus 0 over 100, and plus 3 over 1000. Or in other words, um, 6 is... 6 here is whole part. If it, this is a number of um, this is number actually number of 10 to the power 0. Um, and um, 2, is number of 1 over 10, Num number of 1 over 10th or 10th. Um, uh, this 0 is number of 100th and uh, this number 3 is a number number of thousands or number of one over one thousands this is actually um, called decimal representation of our decimal fraction and in another form um, we can write this our decimal fraction uh, in different form which is simple fraction for example our number six and two or three as as a fraction as mixed number fraction can be written as six and uh, two hundred and three over one thousand and here this six is called uh, it can be called whole part and this is mixed number because uh, from we already know this kind of numbers this is mixed number and 6 is whole part and 2 or 3 over 1000 is fractional part so we can write uh, any decimal fraction as a mixed number as a fraction because if instead 6 we had 0, it would be a um, simple fraction. And by definition, this is equal by definition, this symbol means equal by definition. This is uh, 6 plus 2 or 3 or 1000. Um, let's give so some examples. For example, 1.123 1 is equal to 1 and 123 over 1000, which is equal by definition, which is equal to 1 plus 123 over 1000. Another example is 4. 
point 56 which is equal to 4 and 56 over 100 and this is equal by definition 4 plus 56 over 100 another example 0 0.012 and this is uh, in a, as a fraction is as a mixed number with whole part and fraction is equal to 0 and 12 over 1000 or by definition or, or th this can be written as simply 12 over 1000 which is by definition is equal to 0 plus 12 over 1000 so now we can write any decimal fraction as a fraction or in general form as mixed number with whole part and fractional part let's talk about uh, properties of decimal fractions first of all um, first property adding zeros to the right side of decimal fraction doesn't change its value for example if we have 13.6 this is the same number as 13.600 and we can uh, ignore zeros after last non-zero number after last non-zero digit um, which is after uh, digit 6 must be after floating point for example if we have um, 2 24 and 56 0 0 0 this is equal to 24 and 56 so we can add any number of zeros at the tail of our number and we can um, cancel it out and the number will be the same so we can drop zeros at the end of decimal fraction and it doesn't change its values and we can add um, for example if we have 0 0.00723 and 0, 00 this is equal to these zeros can be ignored and um, this is equal to and that's all uh, very important to know that these zeros cannot be uh, ignored and omitted because um, we can only ignore zeros after uh, last non-zero digit which is after floating point. Um, let's uh, give another examples. Uh, examples with um, multiplication of our decimal fraction by um, by 10, 100, 1000 and powers of number 10. For example, number 1 number 12.34 and 5 times 100 um, when we multiply to 100 because 100 has two zeros we have to move our floating point to the right side um, two times and answer will be 1, 2, 3, 4 Point five. Another example, um, twelve point three hundred and forty-five um, times ten, because we have only one zero here. Uh, we'll move our floating point to the right side, and we have to make just one move, and we have one hundred. 
0.45. Another example, um, 12.345 times 1000 will move our floating point because we have three zeros here. We move our floating point to the right side uh, by the number we move three times. So we have um, twelve thousand and three hundred forty five. Uh, how about division? Division is the same, but we have to move our floating point not to the right side, but to the left side. For example, if we have 123.45 divided by 100, um, since we have two zeros here, we have to move our floating point not to the left side, but not to the right side, but to the left side, and we have to do it two times. And we have one floating point, two, three, four, five. Um, and last example, uh, let's divide our number by 1000. Since we have th three zeros here, we have to move our floating point three times to the left side, and the result will be, point will be here, floating point, one, two, three, four, five. And we also put here uh, zero. This was everything for today. Like us and subscribe and thank you for your attention.